Good morning. Arthur Offaly speaking on behalf of the Arthur Offaly Foundation. Now, once again, these corrupt politicians have been caught again breaking the law. Well done to the Spotlight Programme, but this is not the first time that those thieving scum have been caught. Three other, three other Spotlight Programmes have named and shamed all those politicians from Stormont and also MPs who claim for petrol expenses, who had no cars, office equipment and they had no offices, stationery and pens that were never used, claim for rent for offices that weren't there, claim that also for all classes of expenses that they didn't need. Uh, and those civil servants who were supposed to keep track of the public purse seen nothing, said nothing and done nothing. And this was going on for year after year after year, costing the taxpayer hundreds of thousands of pounds out of the public purse. Now the spot they show named every one of them on their parties, yet that corrupt RUC PSNA special branch done nothing. No one was ever arrested or charged with any crime. Someone should have told that so-called police force that these thieving scum done what they done was fraud. I have already asked the Chief Constable at least six times as to why nothing was ever done to these thieves, as fraud is a crime. Uh, these are so-called politicians put there by members of the public to do an honest job. My office has been asked by hundreds of members of the public as to how these people can steal out of the public purse and get away with it while members of the public are finding it hard to live and have to go to food banks for help to feed their large families. Other members of the public are sleeping in shop fronts and some have also died sleeping in shop fronts. While these thieving scum can steal hundreds of thousands of pounds from the public purse, that is supposed to go to help the homeless and the down and out of people who need help in our community. Now, what sort of a police force and a legal system and court service and human rights office can stand by and watch and allow those so-called politicians who have no shame, no morality and who have no respect for those who need help. Now, I spoke up for these people when this happened twice a couple of years back and no one was ever arrested or charged or, or, or brought to butt for what they've done. Apparently, if you are a politician or work in the legal profession, you are allowed to abuse the public purse and the legal aid system and be answerable to no one. I always thought the public purse and the legal aid was to help those who need help and those so-called, but and those so-called politicians who have been on strike doing nothing for almost three years, but of course they are getting their full pay paid into their grubby little banks. These people have no shame and no morals and they disgust me. Now to finish, and because of these scum, I cannot get any legal aid to get my poor father's murder case brought to court and that plays right into the hands of that corrupt bloody state and their chums, the RUC, PSNI Special Branch, and their Sinn Féin area informer and mass murderer, Freddy Scapatici, who murdered my unarmed father in 1974. With the full knowledge of the British government, the RUC, PSNI Special Branch, and the Sinn Féin area party, who allowed their man to do it. Anyone who would like a tip of this story or any one of my stories can call me on my mobile 07715921137. Leave your name and address and I will send you a tip free. Thank you. Anyone who has a story to tell and wishes me to hear it, 
can call me on my mobile 07715 or I can send out a reporter to get your story and remember, I will tell your story as you tell me nothing will be cut out. Now you watch more of my stories on YouTube, authorofferty.com, YouTube authorofferty, authorofferty docker, YouTube jackspot 2012, that is a tip about the brutal murder of my father by a five-man gang of Sinn Féin IRA led by Ferry Scabatici on the orders of the British government, the RUC, PSNA and the Special Branch. That Sinn Féin IRA scum Scabatici carried out their orders on their command. Now my email is arthurroughly1 at gmail.com. Thank you for watching ASNA TV and good morning and I will see you soon. Have a nice day.